Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to my office. I'm currently redoing my old bedroom and making it into an office space. So this is currently my desk and this is where my bed used to be. And this is where the dresser is that you've been seeing in the last couple videos. And now my makeup is finally organized. <sighs> you have no idea how long it has taken to get to this point, but I have my whole makeup organization right here in the corner. So with that being said, this video is going to be all about what is in my makeup collection. So I do wanna begin this video by saying that a lot of this stuff has been given to me for free because I've worked for a couple of different makeup companies and I was working at Sephora and MAC and Bare Minerals, you would get stuff for free and gratis. So that's what a lot of it is um, and I, honestly do a lot of shopping myself with makeup because I am a makeup artist and I'm obsessed. So, but honestly, like ever since I've had my YouTube channel, I think it's only been like organized once, but even still not everything fit where I had it. So now like this is the first time that it has been organized completely. I used to have it all in just like little grocery bags around my house, in my room, downstairs in the basement. In the process of organizing though, I did give a lot of stuff away to friends and family. So yeah, with that being said, let's just go ahead and jump right into the video. So I have all of my makeup stored in this Alex drawer set. And then on the top, I have this clear acrylic set of drawers that I got from the container store and then on the tippy top I have like this lipstick stand and like makeup holder. I got this from I think Home Goods, but you can find these everywhere like Target, TJ Maxx and stuff like that. So in these two acrylic sets right here, I keep all of my lipsticks. This is every single lip product that I own. So um, I will just start with the top acrylic section here. I'm gonna bring it down so you can actually see what's going on. The back here is where I keep all of my lip liners. The majority of them are from MAC, but I also have some NARS and some Makeup Forever and stuff like that, but these are pretty much all my lip liners. Then in this section, I have a little cluster of things, but they're actually all organized in here. So in the front, I have my two Buxom lip glosses. I have one Dose of Colors liquid lipstick. Then I have my two YSL lipsticks. So behind that first row, I have all of my Too Faced Melted Liquefied lipsticks. And then I have the Ofra Cosmetics Long Lasting Liquid Lipsticks over here on this side. Over here on this side, I have my Dior lip glosses in the front along with my YSL one just because I think they're pretty and I like them to be in the front. If you take that first row off, I have all of my Anastasia liquid lipsticks and glosses here on these two rows. And then behind that, I have my NARS lip glosses as well on the very back portion. And this acrylic drawer set that I got from the container store contains all of the rest of my lip products. I'm not going to go over every single product because that would be a video in itself. But pretty much on this entire top drawer here, I have all of my MAC lipsticks as well as my Bobbi Brown Tool lipstick and my Jouer Kate lipstick. Those are ones that I love and use all the time. And then they kind of just change out throughout each drawer. It's just a little bit different and they're organized in their own way, but overall it's just kind of jumbled and uh, I don't really have a lot of one brand. And then the ones that I do pretty much are focused up here in the top acrylic section or in the top drawer. So the only thing that is super organized about the drawers besides the top one of the MAC ones is this bottom drawer and it contains all of my lip balm kind of products and then my makeup tools such as my pencil sharpener and scissors and tweezers and stuff like that. So moving on to the Alex drawer set from Ikea. In the first drawer is where I keep all of my eyeshadows. So pretty much all in this row here, I have a lot of MAC eyeshadows, whether it's just the single eyeshadows that I haven't depotted yet, stuff like this, or if it's like a mineralized eyeshadow, something like this, like that was limited edition, or just their mineralized eyeshadows that I can't depot. I just keep them here. This is also where I keep this palette from Anastasia. It is just the single eyeshadows that I have from her. This is Red Earth, Beauty Mark, Deep Brown, and Smoke. I need to take them out of this and put it into a regular Z palette so that I use them more because I always forget about that. But that is where this is. I have two Milani eyeshadows. I also have my single Bobbi Brown eyeshadows in here as well as my like NARS duos. I have these back here. I also have some single shadows from NARS and some Marc Jacobs. Duos are wedged in right here. 
And then I have all of my Sigma eyeshadows right here as well. Over on this side in this row, I keep my Painterly Paint Pot from MAC down here. This is my go-to primer. Anything that you see in a plastic casing like this is something I've gotten in gratis because it, at Sephora, whenever you would get a product that was a tester sent from the company to go on the gondola or on the shelf, it would come in a clear plastic case like this instead of like a compact form like this because that's just wasting money. So anything that I've gotten in a class plastic case like this has been gratis from Sephora or something like that. So I have a plethora of those here. These clear acrylic cases I got from the store at home. Um, I believe you can shop online at their store, but I had to travel to Aurora, Illinois to get mine. Back here behind these plastic cases, I do have this case here. This is a white case container from Ikea and this is where I keep all of my cream eyeshadow bases so I have some of these ones from Dior and then I have some MAC ones some Sigma ones and then I also have this really cute palette from the MAC glitter and ice collection from a few years back but um, I just keep these back here because I don't really use them that often in the second drawer here is where I keep all of my glitters and pigments over here on this section i keep all of my makeup geek sparklers that is what these are here they're basically like the glitters from makeup geek i also have all of my sephora glitters these were limited edition but they're the bomb.com and i love them they also have like a glitter primer up at the top but this actually really didn't work very well over on this side i have all of my mac glitters i have reflex gold i have reflex pearl i have reflex bronze an Illamasqua glitter this one is awesome this is glampire from too faced this is so awesome i love this color i have all of the makeup geek pigments i have the inglot number 82 eyeshadow and then inside here i also have a ton of like glitter and pigment samples from mac all of my makeup geek pigments in utopia afterglow sweet dreams and then back here i have glitter injections these are basically they look like little needle injections but um they're the best glitters ever and then i also have my favorite glitter primer this is the Too faced glitter glue moving on to the next drawer here we have bronzers and highlighters. I'll start with highlighters, which are on this side. I have the Kevin Aquan Celestial Powder in Starlight. This is just a really beautiful natural highlight. Um, this color is discontinued. It's the Dior Amber Diamond. I also have this in some clear plastic cases that I got in gratis when I worked at Sephora. Another one is Rose Diamond. It's the same thing, just a little bit more pinky. Then I have pretty much all of the Becca highlighters. I have Moonstone, I have Opal, Champagne Pop, the Rose Gold one. I have some MAC Mineralized Skin Finishes. Soft and Gentle is probably one of my favorites. Ofra Cosmetics Highlighters, Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette. This here is Apricot from Bobbi Brown. It's another really good highlighter. I also have this Mally Beauty Highlighter and Blush Combo. I'm pretty sure my boyfriend's mom gave me this a little while ago, but I've had it in my collection for a while, but it seems to be like coming back and a lot of people are talking about it now. So I also have this in here and I just keep it back here in between these two cases. For bronzers, I have some cream ones like the Chanel Soleil Tan de Chanel. It's like a cream moussey bronzer. I also have the Guerlain Terracotta Spray and then the Dior Foundation Stick in the color Almond. This is the Makeup Forever Pro Fusion Bronze. I have MAC Refined Golden. This is in a limited edition case. Um, a Too Faced bronzer, a Bobbi Brown bronzer, City of Color bronzer, and then a Nars Laguna bronzer. This is new. I'm actually going to feature it in a haul coming up. This is the Hourglass Ambient Bronze in Radiant Bronze Light. It is so, so beautiful. Then in the back here, I also have some more stuff in cases. These are the two Makeup Geek contour powders, and I need to put these into a Z palette because they are awesome and, uh, I just don't have a spot for them right now, so that's why they're in their case. Moving on to the next drawer, which is probably my favorite drawer. This is all of my blushes, and then I also have my eyebrow products here at the back. So here in the front, I just have a random Marc Jacobs blush. This is in the color Reckless. It's like a mauve purple. And then I have all of the Too Faced Love Flush blushes. I have a Coralista from Benefit, and then some City Color blushes and a MAC blush. I have 
three of the Tarte blushes. I love them. They last forever on your face. They're just awesome. Then I have some in the plastic cases that I got in gratis. They're both from NARS. This is Angelica. And then I have a Sin and Casino Duo. Um, this is also where I keep the overlay that I put over top of my blush. This is from Laura Mercier. It is called Peach Mosaic. Over on this side, I have a ton of MAC blushes. One of the ones that stands out the most to me is Margin. I just keep this one right up front. I also have other blushes in a palette, but these are just the ones that I haven't depotted yet. Back here I have my NARS blushes. Then I also have some little NARS blushes as well, just sitting here on the side. I have this random one from Laura Geller in the color Papaya. Two Sigma Aura powders and then a Milani baked blush. I have some Sigma regular blushes, Makeup Forever, and then I have two Becca blushes. This one is Flower Child. And then I also have Wild Honey, but it shattered. And then I did that alcohol trick, but it like really changed the formula. That's why I hate doing that with the alcohol because it just completely changes your blush. These white plastic cases I got from Ikea. They fit perfectly side by side and I'm still in these shallow drawers. I have these in a deeper size as well when we get to the deeper drawer. Here at the back is where I keep all of my brow products. I have this in a case that I got from the at-home store. It just contains all of my eyebrow products. So this is where I keep my Brow Wiz pencils. This is the Kevin Aquan Precision Brow Pencil. I have MAC Spiked. Um, this is a Dip Brow in the color Taupe. This is from Anastasia. Just some brow gels. I've got the Gimme Brow, stuff like that. In this drawer here, this is a drawer that I'm really not going to get too much into because it's kind of just a jumbled hot mess. But it's an organized jumbled hot mess. So... Over here I have all of my eyeliners and I just find that this is the easiest way for me to stay organized with my eyeliners because I'm not really an eyeliner person. I stick with like one or two things and that works for me. So this way I can pretty much just find what I need when I'm looking for it. A couple of my favorites though, this is the Rimmel Nude Scandalized Eyeliner. This is the best and it's from the drugstore. I also love the Ardency Inn Modster eyeliners. Uh, the black and the brown one are my favorites. Another really good one is the NARS Via Veneto. It's in the black color. And the Urban Decay Perversion eyeliner. This is also a really good black one. I didn't realize how many mascaras I had until I went through everything. So I have a plethora of the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. That's just my favorite. And then all of these, I think I just need to go through and kind of get rid of because I'm really not using them, but I do have a couple of cool like colored ones from NYX and then just a bunch of little like sample sized ones as well. Back here is where I keep all of my gel eyeliners. I have a few of the Inglot gel liners. I've got the black, yellow, blue, white, and then I have a few Sigma liners and MAC gel liners as well. Here in this drawer, I have all of my foundations and my concealers. This is the first drawer that gets deeper and I have the same white acrylic or I guess these are just plastic, not acrylic, but these are the white plastic pieces from Ikea. And as you can see, they fit perfectly side by side here. So in this bucket here, I have all of the foundations that I use pretty much more often. And then over here are foundations that I really don't use very much. And there's kind of a trend here. These are all of the lighter coverage foundations or tinted moisturizers, CC cream, stuff like that, because you guys know me, I love a fuller coverage. So in this side, I've got like the Pure Radiant Tinted Moisturizer from NARS. I have this Buxom Weightless Foundation, uh, the IT Cosmetic CC Cream, Shiseido Tinted Moisturizer. I also have this, this is full coverage. It's the L'Oreal Infallible Foundation, which is awesome, but it broke me out, which really sucks. So that's why it's on this side. So on this side, I'll just name a couple of my favorites. Obviously the Too Faced Born This Way Foundation, the best foundation in the world. The Chanel Vitalamir Aqua Foundation. This used to be my jam. Uh, ever since Too Faced came out with their foundation, it's not as good as that one. I have this one. This is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation, which has been so far like my go-to recently. And then I have a couple of drugstore foundations. I have the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Plus. Here at the back is where I have my concealers. I just keep them in this case. This is also from the at home store. I'm gonna sneeze. Got the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Concealer. This is the Magic Lumi Highlighter from L'Oreal. That's the exact same thing as this product. This is the YSL Touche Claw. This is also very comparable. This is the Stroke of Light from Bare Minerals. 
Um, another good concealer, this is the Sephora Gel Serum Concealer. Got the Urban Decay Weightless Creaseless Complete Coverage Concealer. But overall, these are my favorite standout concealers that are in this thing. Next in this drawer, I have all of my primers and spray-y products. So over here, I'll start with the Kryolan Fixing Spray. I got this from the Kryolan store. I got this around the Halloween season, but it's honestly BS. I hate this stuff. It stinks. It, it leave like everything in my kit reeks of this stuff. Um, it does work though, like your makeup lasts, but I probably would only use it for special effects stuff because it really just leaves that nasty smell. Another Kryolan product that's in here is this glitter spray. This is what I bought when I did my Ice Queen tutorial. So I have this in here for any other reasons that I would need a glitter spray. And then I have two of the Sephora Citrus Brush Cleansers. I use these for in between clients when I need to clean my brushes. I also use it for myself as well, um, but I get so many compliments when I use this. Everyone says that my brushes smell amazing. It smells really good, so I love this stuff. Then over here I have all of my face primers and I have a couple of setting sprays like I have fix plus I have the urban decay all-nighter and then this like BB like priming spray but then I have a ton of other primers and I go pretty primer crazy because my skin is relatively normal and sometimes it gets oily sometimes it gets dry so I pretty much use every primer that's out there so a couple of my favorites I love the makeup forever primers all of them are pretty awesome I have tried probably four of them so I love this one's the mattifying I love the hydrating and the nourishing and the smoothing one this has been like a go-to primer as of late this is the hourglass veil primer this is really good if you have oily skin because it pretty much waterproofs your foundation oh this one is awesome for pretty much everybody this is the jouet anti-blemish matte primer it's the bomb.com i feel like everybody needs this it is so good it's like hydrating but mattifying at the same time so this drawer is a little bit of a hot mess but it's still pretty organized uh there's just a couple things that need to change in here but that's okay so i have another one of those like shoe box things except i think it's a little bit more of like a decorative box it's not actually a shoe box um and this is where i keep all of my eyelashes so i've got a lot of velour lash boxes some mosquito ones and then i've got just a bunch of random ones these are my zalo ones Blinking Butte, and then some drugstore ones. Over here, this is so cool. This is one of those white cases from Ikea, but it's got like a little hook on it. And this is where I keep my eyelash glue. So I like this to just hook on right here. It's just so perfect. And then in the back, I've got some cotton rounds and then some cosmetic like triangle sponges. And then up front, I have two more of these velour lash boxes just kind of sitting here and then i just have a pile of eyelashes this is so embarrassing but literally that is my life they just kind of go here after i've ripped off my eyelashes um, and i just put them in there so a lot of these boxes are actually empty because they need to go back into their box that they came from but this is it. I was going to do this before I filmed this video, but I was like, let me just keep it real. This is what I really do. They kind of just sit here. They're kind of like around my room. And then when I'm like, oh, I need to make sure that I don't lose these, I throw them right here and then the pile builds up and there you go. All right. Now in my last drawer is where I keep my palettes. So mainly my eyeshadow palettes, but I also have some contour palettes and stuff like that. This pile right here is pretty much what I grab when I get ready. I literally just pick this up out of here and this is what I use to get ready. This is like my go-to palette. Jaclyn Hill just did a video where she went over her, basically her top favorite eyeshadows that she keeps in the, her like go-to palette. I have one of those as well. So if you'd like to see a video like that, let me know because I thought that that was a great idea. I get a lot of questions about like my top favorite eyeshadows period. So I figured that would be a good video to do. So let me know if you want to see that. I've got all of my Makeup Geek matte eyeshadows and duochrome shadows in that one there. And then just some jumbled ones of like MAC and Makeup Geek in here. And this one, it has a lot of my foiled shadows for Makeup Geek and then a couple of MAC and a couple of Makeup Forever. This palette is my MAC blush palette. And then I have my Kat Von D contour palette. And then this I just throw on the top. This is the Anastasia contour palette that I don't really use as much as I use this one, but it's in here. I also don't really use these that much either. I think 
out of this little pile here, or this little section, the ones that I use most are the Anastasia ones and this Urban Decay one here. Back here, I just have a bunch of random palettes. Um, I've got this contour and highlighting palette from Wet n Wild. This is actually really, really awesome. And I have this palette. This is the Becca and Jaclyn Hill highlighting palette. And then lastly over here, I have all of my Urban Decay Naked palettes. I've got Naked 1, 2, and 3, and then the Naked Basics palette. And then I also have the Too Faced Chocolate Bonbons palette and the Lorac Pro palette number one. So I really hope you guys liked seeing what was in my makeup collection. Really quick, I want to mention something that I forgot to mention when I was showing you everything there is like my brushes and how I store my brushes. That is still not completely done, but currently whatever is in this set right here, whatever's in this set right here is what these are the brushes that I use all the time with like this used beauty blender that I just used. But um, this is actually from Makeup Forever and you can actually like shut it and there's like one of these buckles here so it's perfect for traveling. So this is like where my go-to brushes are. So I just wanted to show you that really quickly because I didn't show it earlier and you're probably like, where do you keep your brushes? So that's kind of like the situation with that. So yeah, I really hope you guys liked seeing my makeup organization and collection and all of that jazz. Thank you guys so much for watching and subscribing. And uh, yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.